Dear loved one, I was not aware of how much trauma you held inside your emotional, physical and spiritual body. Only your mental body felt okay. And even though that was your way of coping, keeping yourself moving, not falling into despair. You must pat yourself on the back for your continuous belief in love, your constant faith and trust that things always get better. You believe there is always a good reason behind all events. And in the moments of pain and suffering, you fully surrender to the cycle of the phoenix. You die to rise from the ashes again and again, always carrying on from where you left off. It has been a long journey from source. It has been thousands of years of spirit searching. Yes, spirit searching. It is a pattern ingrained in you from the beginning, like you have been programmed to live a life of longing for that one thing that you believe you deserve the most, but you seem not to receive from life. Yes, that one thing that is always in your peripheral vision but never seems to land in front of you in your physical reality. Ha, huh? but I see you. You have been on this planet playing this game long enough to have experienced its nuances. You see what this reality is trying to do. The moment you enter this world, it feels like a constant test of love, faith and resilience. A constant battle, a constant challenge, a constant trying to prove that what you see is different from what you feel and perceive in your heart to be true. My dear loved one, this is like the end of the marathon. Those last two kilometers before you cross the finish line. The question is, will you celebrate coming to the end of a long journey of strength, love, resilience, commitment, persistence, patience, skills, strategy, faith and belief? Or are you more focused on the prize being offered and that is awaiting you if you are the first to cross the finish line? What if you are not the first one to cross the line? Would that stain your 42 kilometers achievement? I want you to ask yourself what is more important, the prize or your achievement of all those qualities that you have now integrated by completing the marathon. Dear loved one, you are so much more than what you think you are. Your heart is so much stronger, resilient and loving, so much bigger. No matter what is thrown at you, it is your heart that tells you who you are, where you come from and why you are here. I know, sometimes all you want to do is close your heart off and turn it into a mechanical robot, doing what you perceive as duties disconnecting from it in order to avoid more pain and suffering. That is where you can go wrong. Your heart is your only source of truth, your only source of connection. If it is wounded, only you can heal it. No one can tell you how love feels, how true and pure love is. Understanding the concept of love, only your heart can tell you that. And if you close it, you deprive yourself of the great opportunity to cross the finish line and also receive the medal, the prize. The prize is a bonus. It does not have to be part of the marathon journey, but if it is there, it is a blissful reward. I understand your pain and your difficulty in integrating this concept into yourself. But how many times have you held space for those going through the same? You encourage them in love, faith and trust. And you share the moment of them crossing the finish line and receiving the reward. So why not you? 
I ask. Can you see yourself in that space? You deserve it as much as the others do, if not even more. So why does it feel that it never lands? That is a question for you to answer, for you to consult your heart and hear what it has to tell you. But that is now a different journey, dear loved one. A journey for you to explore in this coming new year. In the meantime, with love.